So in today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. As you can see, looking outside, yep, we're offshore. And obviously trying to do a YouTube channel, being working away from home, I mean, I'm pretty much struggling um, just to try and get a video once every three weeks. So I thought I'd try and do these short little videos. In this video, I thought I would look at where do you begin as a newcomer to ACC? And I'm definitely going to start with GT4 cars. You might want to come straight in and do the GT3 cars because it's all about speed. But I think in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, momentum. And you're never going to learn this skill better than in the GT4 class. Now, what do I mean by momentum? If you're new to sim racing, if you've come from something like Forza or Project Cars 2, momentum is going to be something you probably just used to carry in, into the barriers and it just drags you around the circuit momentum when you come into a corner you're always trying to carry as much speed through the corner this needs to be like a real focus within the gt4 cars especially none more so than trying this out at brands hatch coming into turn one at turn two they're really sort of you're on the limit through turn one and then you're approaching the right hander a hairpin at turn two and carrying speed through this corner is really important as you come out of the corner because it's quite a slow speed corner carrying through to the next series of bends left and then left again it's all about trying to carry as much speed so really or heavy on the brake pedal as you come into the corner and then carrying as much speed releasing that brake pedal just to squeeze off the brake pedal and carrying that power through it really is about trying to get through that corner with as, as much momentum as you can because it there isn't a lot of acceleration in the gt4 cars so the more speed you can carry through the first portion of the bend you're going to carry that out onto the straights afterwards another thing i just wanted to quickly touch on was obviously trading paint with other drivers if you're new to sim racing even just touching another car is going to have an adverse effect on the downforce of the car the performance of the car and even if say you trade paint with two or three cars on a lap that could equate to maybe a second a lap difference in the performance that you're going to gain from the car the aero won't be working properly and you really are going to struggle even coming new to the game so if you are new to the game stay a little bit further back from the pack get a feeling for how the cars perform and spend a lot of time testing practicing use the slow the safe setup use the aggressive setup have a look at some of my setups that i've got on my channel and just try and find something that allows you to be consistent this is going to probably be a little bit of um videos that i'm just doing short videos while i'm away i am traveling back home tomorrow but i thought i'd try and start doing a few of these little tips and tricks uh, while i'm sort of out on the road and away working because i'm really just not able to do the amount of content that i'd like to uh, getting behind the wheel so hopefully I can give a little bit of information in some of these videos while I'm working away. Ciao for now.